Gender-based violence, or GBV, refers to any harm inflicted against a person's will. It results from discrimination and unequal power on the basis of gender roles and norms. It is an umbrella term for various forms of violence that can affect people of all genders, such as child marriage, intimate partner violence, sexual and emotional violence. It is used to establish or reinforce gender inequalities. GBV is widespread and disproportionately affects women and girls, with one in three worldwide experiencing physical and sexual violence. During crises, the risks of GBV can greatly increase, especially for those with least power, voice and access to services or resources. Although we need to deliver immediate and life-saving assistance, if we don't recognize and address gender inequality and the risks of GBV, we may miss vital opportunities to assist those who are most in need, or may unintentionally expose them to further harm. So what must we do? Recognize that GBV is a life-threatening issue and assume it is happening regardless of whether incidents have been verified. Follow global guidelines and collaborate with specialists to look for GBV risks. As humanitarians, it is our responsibility to mitigate, prevent and within our capability respond to GBV. We must identify and address the different needs, capacities and vulnerabilities of girls, boys, women and men and reduce their risks to GBV. Speak with vulnerable groups to identify and mitigate safety risks in your design, delivery and evaluation of assistance. Address root causes of gender inequality by promoting the equal rights of women and girls and other marginalized groups. Engage men and boys as advocates for gender equality and ending GBV. Reporting of GBV incidents is hindered by stigma and risks of further violence. This multiplies the physical, emotional and social effects of GBV. It can restrict reporting rates and survivors' access to services. Specialists must provide gender-sensitive services without delay and establish confidential referral systems. Survivors' rights and informed consent are central. Prioritize safety, confidentiality, respect and non-discrimination in your response. Non-specialists also have a key role to play. If someone discloses an incident to you, remember to look, listen and link to information on available support. It is everyone's responsibility to prevent, mitigate and respond to GBV. Together we can stop gender-based violence.